hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're joining me right now it's probably because you want to know what my secret to gaining from youtube is with just a little over 200 subscribers and i'll share when i started my channel a year ago i would tell myself in a year i just have like thousand subscribers yeah i was wrong like i was so wrong i don't know if i should call it over expectation or just reaching for the stars but i was wrong it's not like people don't do it people do do it but with over 200 subscribers right now i've still gained so much from youtube and here's why primarily when i started my main aim was to get more subscribers and eventually start earning from youtube like which is nice and everything i think that's why like everybody starts YouTube in the first place. I mean, who doesn't like the good stuff, right? Then I beat myself up if I didn't reach a certain goal that I had set for myself and I would let it drive me to anxiety, even like depression and everything. Over the past couple of months, I want to say that my dreams have changed drastically. I've had a sudden overturn of what I think is important to myself and to my channel as a whole. Personally, I have discovered myself and the passion that I hold for filming, editing, just being a creative. I've captured so many moments, so many moments that could have easily just been forgotten. I've captured moments with my friends, my family. I've captured moments by myself. Sometimes when I start to feel overwhelmed, I watch some of the videos that I made um, when I started my channel <laughs> and it just fills me with nostalgia, a feeling that I just can't explain. <clears throat> also, a feeling of gratitude because then you realize you've come such a long way. So many months of growth and you don't see it right now, but when you document these things, when you record these things and then you watch them like over like a span, of a few months then you're like wow a couple of months ago this is where i was right now this is where i am and you just start feeling grateful and you start to count your blessings when i started a year ago i started with a kodak camera that my dad got in 2009 when i was five he doesn't use the camera anymore one day i was just like arranging his things and then i came across the camera and i did not have a phone and I just knew, oh my god, this is my big break. I'm taking this chance. We're not losing it. I got the camera and I started filming. I didn't start recording like to put out on the internet just yet. I would film. I would practice my editing, watch more videos. So many interesting YouTubers. Some of the YouTubers that I watch, Babiki, Amaya Maze, Tato. I love these women. They are such young spirited driven women i get my inspiration from them and i post my content um after like editing thinking i was doing so good the quality of the camera was beyond bad then i would tell myself i mean it's not that bad just start anywhere it doesn't matter and i, I go back to watch my videos and i'm like girl below youtube standard but i started somewhere at least the important part was that i started and i'm here today and trust me i'm not complaining because 200 people believe in your work do you understand 200 people can't fill this room right i mean right now like think about it every day it just gives me a cause to be grateful and a lot of the times you find yourself comparing yourself to other youtubers and their growth process some people make you feel better some people make you feel so much worse about where you are but remember that growth is very personal and growth is different for everybody personally i think i've grown so much in the past one year it's actually been a year since i started this channel so i'm feeling very good today i just wanted to mark like my one year from hold on one yeah <laughs> my one year anniversary yeah if nobody is going to watch my videos i'm going to watch my videos 
when my children are born they will watch my videos when their children are born they will watch my videos they'll say ah, my grandmother was a baddie was she not because she was i don't know how we got here but like <laughs> and there's just so many things to be grateful for you guys and youtube has helped me learn like a purpose to be driven when i started youtube i was going through a very eh, path my life was just going up and down up and down but faith and the hand of god i feel like if it wasn't for me god would have told me to stop it since i feel like he wouldn't have kept providing along the way if he wanted me to stop he would not have sent that camera to me that just magically appeared and i just had it before i started my channel i would pray i would pray so much about it i would tell god this is what i want to do and i know a lot of you are asking why don't you have a phone why don't you have a phone? that's a story for another day i needed god at the time and he came through when i saw that camera i knew it was god that sent that camera and when i started recording i was doing whatever felt right to me you know you don't have to start off perfectly you don't have to be like the top of like everything your editing doesn't have to be 100 angle changing doesn't have to be 100 your everything doesn't have to be 100 it took me like a year to know how to strategically change my angles and it's still a work in progress uh, <clears throat> being a youtuber also helped me discover that i had passion a deep driven passion for filmmaking if you haven't already seen the two short films that i made watch it right now or after this video no don't watch it right now watch it after this video and drop a comment on what you think i also recently just started learning how to color grade how to really get into the mood with the sound when i started this channel i would give any sound to like any clip whatever just just <laughs> i just sounded right it didn't feel right it just sounded right and i'd be like okay here you understand but like these days i am beginning to understand when you start your channel you really don't know where to get like a lot of resources from and i'm no gatekeeper i'll tell you if you want to start a youtube channel and you don't know where to get like copyright free music aesthetically pleasing music and you know all those other things just go to tiktok find the sound you want to use screen record export to like your editing software i use CapCut. you export CapCut, and there you have it i found this out last month i've already had a channel for like 11 months and i found this out last month i was like damn that's what we've been doing like that's what we've been doing since this is what this, this get has the view like you just get as the man like what is get skipping is it really necessary just share if you if you chop me i chop like does it make sense? Do you guys understand? I'm yapping. Let's take a break, guys. But I just want to end this with saying if you started YouTubing or you just recently became a YouTuber and you make videos and edit and you haven't really found yourself yet, give yourself time things will come in line if you pray if you believe if you have faith and don't give up just yet personally i know i'm not going to give up i'm not giving up this year i'm not giving up next year not in three years in four years in ten years i know i would still be a youtuber that's for sure probably most definitely more than a youtuber i'm going to be a high-ranking filmmaker someday like i could just tell power of positive thinking that's what i'm doing and i'm holding on to the word of god and that's where i'll leave you guys today don't forget to like this video and if you believe in this content creator no i'm not a content creator don't forget to subscribe and like this video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye